In time, we have a Fox News alert. The Manchester suicide bomber, he's 22 years old. And let's go to it now. Uh, and his name is Salman Albidi. Uh, he was known for his love of soccer until recently when neighbors noticed odd behavior by chanting Islamic prayers in the streets and scowls every time uh, as, uh, negative things were brought up about ISIS in his mosque. Um, meanwhile, his parents were refugees. His 23 year old brother now under arrest as well. Authorities hunt for more accomplices now. And our next guest, who is a Muslim, has a message to all members of his faith. Dr. Saudi Jasser is a former U.S. Navy commander and founder of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, and he joins us live right now. Dr. Jasser, um, as we're learning more and more about this uh, suicide bomber, apparently, uh, he was a lone wolf, they think, but he was known to MI5, uh, not part of any active investigation or high risk, they say today, but as we know now, that was not the case. Well, the denial needs to stop. He was, I, I don't even use the term lone wolf. Nobody should use it. He was a known wolf. He's part of a pack of ideas of wolves that is a global movement, the underbelly of which we need to have a revolution against political Islam, Islamism, this separatist ideology. Every time we hear, whether it was the Boston bombers, the San Bernardino killers, every time we hear, oh, he seemed like such a normal man, he was just quiet, withdrawn, and then he became more religious. His mother taught Quran. We need to wake up. We have a problem. The problem is theocratic Islamism, the Islamic State concept, not just ISIS. These individuals are radicalized in a very common process. They start with being told that they're victims. They listen to conspiracy theories. They're told that everything against Muslims is from the West. It's not their own tyrants. It's not their own ideology. It's from the West. It's somebody else's fault. The Islamist uh, victimization groups brainwash them that they're living among the enemy. And that makes them then radicalized. And then the last step is when they go to Syria, they get operationalized, they learn about how to make bombs. And unfortunately right now, all of our American taxpayers, Western taxpayers' money is being, step, is being spent just on that last step, when they learn how to make a bomb, when they become violent. Until we get it right and start to focus on the nonviolent precursors, we're continuing a whack-a-mole waste of time. What did you make, Dr. Jasser, of the president's comments yesterday calling terrorists, not calling them monsters, he says, he wants to call them losers, losers in life. That's perfect. This is a war. And when they, but these acts are recruitment tools for other militants in which they see the West as inhuman. They dehumanize citizens, women, children, young girls. And they look upon themselves with pride as being militant and barbaric. So if you call them losers, that begins to take the oxygen out of what they're doing in defeating the West. The propaganda on the pro-ISIS forums was that they had shown the West that they shouldn't attack ISIS in Syria, Iraq, that they're beginning to lose. So the best way to take that jihad to them is to tell them that they're losing. We are going to decimate you. We are going to destroy you. That's the message. And finally, we have a president that's saying that. Right. It just amazed in watching uh, Tucker Carlson's open yesterday. They say about 27, 20 percent of European Muslims believe that suicide bombing is okay. That to me is astounding. And, and to tell you as a former naval officer what's more astounding, there are more, mo many studies have shown that there are more British Muslims serving in the jihad in Syria than in their own military. That huge dichotomy is the problem. Until they start to love with passion the brothers and sisters of the British society and no longer want to love with passion the jihadis across the planet, we're going to continue to miss a lot of these warriors, suicide bombers that are going to continue to kill our women and children and citizens until we treat that disease of separatism, anti-Westernism, and pro-jihadism. That's right. All right. Uh, Dr. Jasser, we thank you very much.